Now let's go to the bass staff and enter the chords. Make sure you still have the simple entry tool highlighted. First we need to place the cursor in the bass staff before we enter notes. To do that, on Windows, control click on the staff in measure 1. On Mac, option click in measure 1. Check your MIDI keyboard to see if you need to adjust the octave before playing in the bass staff chords. Press number 7 to select the whole note value and play in the first chord on the MIDI keyboard. Continue playing in the whole chords up through measure 7. In measures 8 and 9, finish entering the chords, changing the note durations as needed. To go to the beginning of the score, on Windows, press the Home key. On Mac, press Function and the left arrow key. Save your work by clicking on the File menu, Save. Go to Page View to view your score. Click on the View menu, Page View. If you need to zoom out to see more of the page, press Ctrl- on Windows. That's Command- on Mac. Play back your score to do an audio check for accuracy. Correct any errors you find and save your work again. MIDI keyboard step entry is one of the fastest ways to enter notes in Finale even if you have limited keyboard skills. Using one hand on the numbers to change duration and one hand on the MIDI keyboard to play in pitches is faster than using a mouse. In the instrumental and choral tutorial e-learning courses, we will explore still another note entry option, Hyperscribe Entry, which is real-time entry using a MIDI keyboard and a metronome beat. Now that you have the notes entered, you are ready to complete your score by adding markings and repeats, making final edits, and formatting the page.